Hi, I'm Maria Rodriguez. Hi, Hi my name is Shannon Rincon. And I'm Samantha, and we are making fur for all from corn cobs. Obtain 10 grams of ground of fresh corn cob and place it into a 100 ml round bottom flask. Now we're adding 10 grams of salt and ACL. Now we're adding the 50 ml HCL. Now we're gonna mix yeah, all the crumbs. Okay. Okay. I wasn't sure when it breaks that it felt like the wisdom and stuff like that, but it does. Yeah. And if there is a problem, I'll go through it. Okay. I can mechanically change things. Yeah. Set up, we heat the corn cob mixture and keep it boiling for 20 to 30 minutes. The temperature is set up to 270 and the stir rate at 1000 using a reaction block. Select the distillate in a 50 ml round bottom flask. When approximately 10 ml of distillate has been collected, turn off the heat and transfer distillate to 150 ml separatory funnel. Add 25 ml of dichloromethane to the separatory funnel and mix well. Drain off the bottom organic layer and 250 ml beaker. The top layer would be the waste. Add a small amount of anhydrous sodium sulfate to the beaker to remove any remaining water. Transfer your distillate to a clean 100 ml round bottom flask and roto wrap of the dichloromethane. Uh, yeah. And probably want to speed it up so it's going at a good clip. That's nice. Is that too fast? No, it's good. And 
just so it starts, just so the one little, so it's just dipping in the water. Because that's pretty hot water, it's going to go crazy, it might go crazy. That's good. It's starting to uh, condense on the other side. After the removal of the dichloromethane, there should be approximately one milliliter of pure furfanol. First, get a tear measurement of the empty veil vial. Extract as much furfanol from the round bottom flask as possible and place in vial. Record the final mass of your product.